Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation where we are starting to recover from the uh, the problem of having no church in the last episode or for a good chunk of the last episode at least. Uh, we're back up to 54% happiness, it's mostly service storage still, a couple of people are leaving but for the most part we're doing okay. Employment is low, um, residence of space is high, happiness is average so we really need to get that employment down because that's what's really stopping us from growing now so at this point I think we do have to start just looking at where we can put in sort of other places it does say that uh, somebody mentioned sorry that overfishing was a problem i mean they're here and they're flopping about and there's two fish in it there maybe that's okay um i really can't see another one over here look we are losing people does it does it say why let's see if we can tell us Oh, I can't click the ones who are leaving, unfortunately. It'd be quite nice to be able to lick, lick them. It'd be nice to be able to click them and be like, Hey, dude. You know, like, what What was the straw that broke the back? That would be a good information to be able to have. Anyway, we've ended up with this huge space here, and I'm, I'm really hoping it will get filled in. This is residential. Somebody did point out that the house I built, the house I knocked down, I didn't end up actually using, and you're completely right. We should have just left all of this as, as residential space. Hopefully they fill in there. Um, this is starting to become a thing, but, you know, I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, okay. What I am going to do is add extraction in here and remove reforestation. Oops, it is. Remove reforestation. I would like this bit to be treeless. That's an easy fix. Um, all right, jobs then. Where can we, where can we put people where we're going to benefit from having them? Uh... How is the workshop over here doing? Is it pretty full? It's got polished stone, it's got iron, it's got coal. No villagers, that's fine. Happy for it to be zero and not negative. <laughs> um, let's, let's see, what can we do? What can we give people a job doing? I mean, I suppose we can look at making a new uh, resource. Let's just click territory on for a second. We do have all of this space up here and not much to do, it, to do with it. If we... If we maybe bought that, cash-wise we're doing fine. I'm going to buy this. Um, I'm going to turn zoning on for a little while. We have this space over here and we can totally use it to build a new production line. So we have the ability to do, let's have a look. Iron, smelting, blacksmithing, that's all fine. So cooperage, um, we need planks and iron and tools for barrels. I mean, that seems like something we can do, right? We only have 21 iron. We're using that to make tools, I believe. Ah, I've just reminded myself before we carry on. We were we were buying this stuff and we need to stop, don't we? Sell it. Sell any polished stone over 100. Sell any tools over 50. We need, to, we need that to earn us revenue instead. I mean, yeah, sure. Let's build a barrel place. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just a single unit. Cooperage, planks, iron, and tools. Let's just throw one down and see what happens, eh? Um... I don't really understand this this line here, but yeah, okay. Let's make a barrel place here. Go for it. I bet it just employs like two people though, doesn't it? What else have we got? Cooperage. Yeah. So gathering hut. Yeah, that's fine. So let's have a look at uh, food production because I think that's probably where we're going to end up with more staff. Dairy farm into uh, it produces milk. Cheese maker produces cheese. Now I wonder if we can sell milk. Um, but I do I do think that probably dairy farm over here that deals with cows is probably the way to go. There's a there's a long one in there. More acceptable entrance there. Okay. So oh that's a well there. Okay, so we'll put that down. Let's go for it. Dairy farm. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, let's get the time sped up. Get these folks working and working hard. We're back up to 64%. Let's have a look. Yeah, mostly service shortage. There, 40. There we go. This one over here is doing fine. We have 108 people and we have the capacity for 136 service. So it shouldn't be a problem. I do still enjoy the idea of building over here. Um as we build I, I wonder if we can move the the just the, the 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 home spot is that a thing there's like a little dot that we drop down when we say here's where we're building it I don't even know if it's a thing we can access now 
Because the problem is at this point is if we do go to build towers over here, we do get to what's called too far. So I suppose we can just build as a second one, although that there could be something. And also, I think if we build that, we can build off it to keep getting larger. Okay, 100% that is what we do there then, I think. Um, I suppose there's nothing stopping us doing it there. We've got plenty of stone and everything else. Yeah, let's just go for it. So, build mode. Thank you. Are we any closer to unlocking the next tier of stuff for this, by the way? Church. There just isn't bonus bits, is there? No, we still need all of this. So we need labor, kingdom influ influence. We need citizens for... 10 citizens and splendor for that one. So we actually have the numbers here. We just need some labor influence. So an envoy request a service. Let's help labor. That's that one. 20 fish. Jesus. Go, go on then. <laughs> ah, we, are, we need 20 fish inside storage facilities. We don't have them in storage, do we? Yeah? Okay. Granary, we have zero fish. Oh, that's a problem. So we want a stock maximum then, yeah. We just, we just stock up on the fish, please. Leave it there. Until we have it, thank you. I think that should change colour when it's doable. Let's hope it does. Um, that will help with that. Okay. Let's add some buildings on here then. Round tower. Oh, we got a villager join us. Nice. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? I'm already loving it. Yep, already super into that. I would like that to be a little bit more in there like that though. Good. And I bet we can't even stick a door there, can we? Yeah, it's going to get a bit loosey-goosey. Um, I suppose we can do it like that, can't we? A little weird, but I don't detest it. Stick a small bell tower on this? How does that look? No, we don't want to do that. Ah, oh, no. Is that bell tower gone that isn't built now? Can we can we even access that? Uh, I suppose we're going to pop that out. Move you out a minute. Put you kind of back in where you were. Oh, that's actually exactly where you were. Nice. Okay. So now this one, we need to actually make tall enough. Like that. Cooperage is built. Great. Oh. Be nice if the height restrictions were added to a um, to a key bind. Just uh, oh, the dairy farm's done as well. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna say go ahead with that. Um, hoping, assuming we have quests now. There's still no fish in there. There's 19 fish. Okay. I wonder if that bar is time or... There's no 17 fish. Hey! Ah, oh, what's going on? Stop. Do we need to stop selling fish for a minute? Is that what it is? Where's our market? Here. Sell cheese. Stop selling fish. In fact, you can sell cheese. Well, soon you can anyway. But I guess you can't sell milk. So a dairy farmer, go. Six, 
six cows. Is that an acceptable amount of cows? I don't, I don't know. Uh, cooperage. Three. Ah, uh, three's not bad. Okay, you get started there, Cooper. Cooper the Hooper. This area needs clearing out. We need to... We need to um, do a bit of an extraction here. Will they even come and do it? Maybe, maybe if we clear this out for a minute, they might. I know this isn't great. It's not how I enjoy doing things. But it's probably the only way we're going to get that area cleared. So you go ahead and do that. Um, that's not selling thingies now. There we go. Now you can go back to selling fish. Thank you. You'll have no cheese, sorry. Fish, there we go. So berries, bread, fish, common clothes. So we are going to be able to add cheese to the markets, which is pretty good. Actually, no, we won't be able to add cheese to the markets because we only have dairy being produced, which is making milk. Um, I think the only thing that milk is used for is making cheese, which seems like a waste. Produces two cheese for exchange for five milk. Okay, so I, we definitely need another one of these going as well. Um... I'll put it out here so it sort of pastures onto each other. Go ahead. And then I guess we can get the cheese producer going as well. And we'll say they can be just here. Two villagers, nice. Still got pretty low uh, employment. But the... Uh, the happiness is almost back now, so let's have a look. Yeah, its employment is low. Um, I mean, I am tempted just to build some building builders. Blah, 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 blah. Some builders and stuff. Let's have a look. Logistics. So, you know, builders workshop. It's just five jobs, isn't it, you know? Stick it on the side of that. Three there. What else? Um, I suppose we can start adding to the markets to get two more. Food stall. We'll throw a food stall here. Stick a uh, stick a blue above it. Go ahead. Uh, it was the same over here. They won't be able to do much for now, but it's it's two jobs. Oh, there isn't even anyone working that fourth one. Um, so that's definitely a job we need to fill. I'll put this one here. Uh, go ahead and ready to build. Build it then. Go ahead. There we go. So both of those can sell cheese. Just as another option. There we go. This area is... Oh no, it's this area we want clearing out actually. Which doesn't seem to be happening. Maybe? I can hear trees getting knocked down. I just... Yeah, they are here. It's weird that this path is right through the trees. I think the problem is, is because they've got so far to come, they get here, they cut a tree down, and it's the end of the day, which, you know, is going to happen. Cooperage is missing raw materials. What are you missing? Tools. We have zero tools. I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume that this used a load of them. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's fine. If you haven't got any tools, kiddo... You'll just have to wait. Barrels are a secondary resource. We are going to be selling barrels when we're not building other stuff. Does this place here have a space to sell them? Yes. We're going to put barrels there. And I, I don't think we use barrels for anything apart from maybe later on we'll use it for beer. Let's have a look. Food production. Brewery. Produces one beer for a wheat to hop. No. Huh. Goods production then, is it? Common wares, tools, planks, and iron. Produces candles for wax, iron, and tools. Produces jewels from gems and gold. Gold. So even the wine, and maybe the wine uses them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for now, I think we can literally just sell the barrels we make. Because there's people definitely buying them. Uh, so a lot of trade routes. Wants to buy barrels? Where are you? Wants to buy barrels for 20 gold each. That's nice. So where's our barrels? From now on, we've got two. They're beginning. Uh, buy. No. Sell. Sell above zero. Sell a lot. Let's go. 
barrels. We've got 11 in there. Wow, they're churning them out. Maybe we already had a few, perhaps. Um, so we'll sell barrels. We are pretty much capping out on gold constantly. So we really do need to look at our Lord's Manor here and uh, maybe building it out a little bit. I think maybe around this space. Not, an, not a terrible idea. Uh, edit building. Have we got new stuff? Oh, we do have new stuff. Look at this. Stone main building. Oh, okay. Okay. I think then perhaps we look in a similar way to how we did with the church. At building this. This way. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. This is awesome. Let's put it like that. Raise it up a bit. Well, I'm in love with that. Okay. What does this thing look like? Oh, look at this. Like a little gatehouse. Courtyard area. Okay, well, let's... Oh, we've got a horse there moving very fast. Put that there. The tower is pretty neat. Tower on the back of that. I'm down for that. Extension, that's too small. Although... Has it got something going on, or is it just a little tiny building? No, it's just a little tiny building. Okay. So what we really need, what I really want, is a core. Like a core and a core, really. I, we might not be able to line it up too neat, but we'll try. I mean, that doesn't look horrific, does it? We'll put that up one more. I mean, it looks very foundation, but I don't hate that. That's a bit too ostentatious for there. Let's try a regular door there. Yeah, there we go. Let's try that. It gives us a nice little courtroom area, courtyard area. Because um, all this space is basically going to be for cold hard cash. Does that clip through there? Ugh, it does. It's gross. Um, yeah, this is going to be a, this is going to be a cold hard cash expansion. Let's do. A couple of these over here, because what they will do, if nothing else, is start to tie the building together a little. And also, we probably will have to reevaluate the uh, the doorways. But for now, let's say go for it. It's definitely going to affect the um, uh, the tools coming in. But yeah, people are hungry. Thirty berries. I mean, we could have a go. I think we need to help people still. Yeah. No, nope. able to do that straight away. Nice. Uh, that has reminded me, though, that we just need to keep fish in there and not a lot of them. Villager path blocked. Can't click to where the problem is, so we'll just ignore it. Okay. Are we anywhere near that tavern yet? We can afford the tavern. Nice. And the stone tavern. Next episode, we are 100% building a tavern. How's this looking? Getting there. Capacity for this place is now 104. I suppose not much of this has been finished. Maybe just that. Gave us three, did it? Those towers are three? Oh, maybe we need more. But still, it's fine. Uh, that's getting busy. This is getting busy, you know what I mean. Uh, they've finished out clearing that wood now, pretty much. What have we unlocked? What did we unlock there? Oh, a ta oh, yeah, tavern, of course. That classes as logistics, apparently. I suppose it is logistical, isn't it? No reasons to abstract. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect timing. I was just about to mention it. Uh, we can now get rid of you. And you can continue to extract there. And there. You go back to the wood zone. That's fine. Oop, a little jumpy. Little jumpy jumpy. Does the market have any cheese? Uh, that's the number of staff. Oh, do the same down here. Cheese. Oh, and a couple of members of staff. There we go. Berries, bread, fish, and cheese, and clothes. That's fine. Uh, cheese place actually isn't finished yet, is it? But that's fine. Three cubes of signs. They've got everything but tools they need. They're working hard. They are producing barrels that are going here and obviously getting sold because we don't use them for anything else. That's great. Here we are waiting for resources. Cool. I think it's another one of those. Uh, go and get yourselves a cup of tea. Uh, it'll only take a second for you. I'm going to take five minutes to get a cup of tea. 
Oh, and a lovely cup of tea it is too. A nice drop of green tea tonight. Um, trying to cut down on my dairy a bit. Um, right. Turns out this was useless. These co these don't add anything. <laughs> these towers don't add anything to the capacity. The core bit does here, so we're up to 124. But yeah, we definitely need to sort of core it out a bit more. But I still... I don't know, I still really enjoy having it linked all together. I, I do think that's that's something I want to continue looking at doing. Um, yeah, okay. So, soldiers are off. I sent some soldiers off. Um, we're, send, we're, we're sending this guy out just so he stops bothering. Uh, I found some marble up here, though, which is neat, because I don't think that's one we had yet. So, we've got marble and iron up there, so we could definitely start, like, uh, sword production over here, maybe. That would be pretty neat. I think we could maybe move a couple uh, charge difficult distance far success average gold common and on failure we lose some stuff I'm gonna say go for it our, our, our guys are ready so yeah what I'm thinking here perhaps is we move these two farms this way um, and we move this wood this way as well and then this can become our next sort of zone hub and then we can have a fourth one up here. I think that's probably how we're going to spread out. Um, and then again, we'll move eventually. Because well, I, I just feel like that's the way to do it. Uh, pardon the Punch and Judy reference. I think is to move the resource stuff out. And then use uh, workshop guys to bring it in, you know. Um, there was berries somewhere. Oh yeah, they're already getting those ones, aren't they? That's good. These are the berry folks here. They're grabbing those ones. Alright, good. Um... They obviously have to just stay where they are. We've got these one, this one little berry spot here just, just kind of plodding away. We could rebuild this so it was in the building. That probably isn't a bad idea, just to make it look a little bit more, uh, I don't know, right, I guess. Uh, food gathering. Yeah, we just sort of pop that in the building there. They're always going to go up the front there, aren't they? That's not a, that's not a problem. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate that. We'll build that there, and we'll get rid of that one. And this is going to become Tavern, which we will do in the next episode. So that's done. Eventually, yeah, we'll, we'll bring this wall out and round, and we'll have archways here and here. And uh, I think we might have to get rid of this house. As much as I love the little house here on the hill, it's just not in a great spot. I would really love them to rebuild it here, but they just don't seem like they want to do that at all. Um... And then we can sort of tie it in. Monks here. Here's a going guy. We'll go for clergy. What do you want? 50 planks? Ooh, we might struggle with that one though. It looks okay. There you go. That's going to be able to, I think, uh, unlock us the next load of stuff here once we get 10 citizens. Oh, trade bonus. We need some labor next time as well. Okay. So gathering hut is done there. We'll get rid of this one. They all just should just go pop, pop, pop and move over to here. Let's have a look if they do. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they're happy working there. Good. Just clear that space a little bit. We now have ten villagers with nothing to do. Hmm. Yeah, I think then... I mean, yeah, I do, I do think that warehousing here for stuff that's further, that goes further out. Does that, does that make sense? Is that understand what I'm trying to say? Uh, it does mean us maybe moving the fort as well. And we did say we were going to expand the fort a little as well. We do need to think about doing that over on this side too. I think here would be a good spot for it. This is all out the city. I don't really want much, much of this being in, in the city really, the blacksmith and what have you. It's very messy. Well, the blacksmith would probably be in the city walls, but the mines and that certainly wouldn't. So we'll have to have the blacksmith as out of the walls, and we'll probably do the uh, the building here on this on this uh, this uh, fork here. Yeah, sorry, I know there's a lot of just like thinking, but you really have to plan in this game because otherwise you just end up moving everything ten times. I know that is the game, you know, it's city sprawl, right? Like it's it is what it is. But yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to do. Probably build the wall here with a view for it to come here and all of this space can become more residential. Uh, maybe a third market over here. Fourth market, fifth market. Here we go. Send soldiers complete. We get a thousand gold, which we can't put anywhere. 
60 bread, 29 iron, 10 tools, and 7 poly... Oh, it wasn't really worthy, was it? Okay, we'll promote all. We'll promote 5 commoners. And can we do... Can we do citizens yet? So oh, villages need must be met for eligibility. They want goods and they want... These properties will have new needs. They'll have luxury needs, which we aren't doing yet. And Medina the bailiff is not happy for some reason. Water, food, comfort, service, and goods. She lost. Let's do our first citizen. Because I think that will just unlock a few things. It did. That unlocked us probably these last few bits. So glass is quartz and coal. We have not found that yet. Um, goods production. Yeah, here we go. Gold smelter and jeweler's workshop. So I'm assuming that's a luxury good. So I don't think we've... House is upgrading. Nice. I don't think we've found gold yet, have we? That's... Oh, that's quartz there. Ah! So we do have quartz. So we could do glass, which in turn makes us what? Glass in exchange for quartz and coal. That's fine. What can we do with glass? Perhaps it might be easier to look at our list of uh, stuff. Yes, glass. There it is. Is that it? Is it just glass? Do people buy and sell glass? Who wants to sell glass? I mean, it doesn't sound like a luxury good, does it? Is it buying panes of glass. So I'm not too sure what we do with it. Maybe once we build it, it will open some stuff up. Quartz and coal, anyway. Okay, well, let's... Let's come to here. Edit building. Oh, no. It has to be a separate building. Okay. Edit building. Quartz quarry. We can, get, can build a double quarry there. Quite a low down one, but that's fine. The spot here to store the stuff. Small cranes wherever they go. They look badass. Uh, and of course, we need the old wagon parked up. I know these are purely decorative, but geez, I love them. Go for it. Let's get some quartz mining for no particular reason. Houses getting upgraded here. Where else? Have we got any bigger houses here? This one's looking good. Yeah, happy with all lowers. Um, this is very slow. I don't know why. I suppose people who build it. This here has been going forever. I think maybe we need more builders. Maybe that's the problem because all the stuff seems to be here. Let's go for it. Let's go for a couple more builders' workshops. Where can we stick them? <laughs> uh, where they're not going to be too offensive. On the side of this building looks good. These. The best thing about these is they just pop up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's go for builders. Uh, and it's easy way of employing three folks as well, which is another thing I do enjoy. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Oh, there is already one there. Um, back in here. Is that a bit silly? Right by the beach. Oh, it looks good. It looks like a shack where they're going to make snow surfboards. Snowboards. <laughs> too, too long in Canada. Um, one more, I think. Let's see if we can get that. Uh, that cl uh, working reel right down. Oh, I do. Look, there's another one built here right in the wall. I kind of love it. I really kind of love it. I don't. I don't want them to go. I just. We need to build around them, don't we? We need to just build around them. Uh, one of these here, sure. That looks good. Go for it. There we go. Stuff gets built. Jobs get villager path blocked. Where? Well, I'll be honest with you, I didn't build the house, you idiots. And there. Again, didn't build the house. You put it there. Could not reach house. Of course you can reach the house. It's right there. I can't believe that that 
that thing has bothered him. Although, did I, did I build it the wrong way around? I think I might have built it the wrong way around, actually. Yeah, I think I did. All right. I'll let you off on that one, then. Sorry. That should be fine. What about this one, then? Have I done, did I do the same here? Yeah, I think I did. I'm an idiot. Oh, no, that was the right way. Can't take more than one. Oh, have we done that? Oh no, they're filling in, that's fine. So we've done that weird thing again where they don't actually lose their job. They just lose what they're up to. Okay, that's good. What did you find up here? Marble? Another marble? Well, it's Marble Central over there, eh? Bailiff, go, keep going. Just keep finding them. We could do with gold, honestly, which I think is going to be... I, I mean, I'd be surprised if that wasn't gold. Like, it literally looks like the stuff. Uh, but yeah, marble's fine. We could really do with gold. Hopefully, this here is gold and we can... Well, maybe not. Maybe... Ugh, I don't know. I just don't know. That's getting built. We're short on tools again. We're always short on tools because of how much we make. How much we build out. The, the Lord's Manor upgrade is beginning. Okay. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. So I thought it'd be interesting to watch a trader and see what he does and what he doesn't. Wants to sell. So I don't think we're going to buy any of that. Wants to buy... I don't think we've got any of that actually either. Oh, bread. He'll, he'll be, be able to buy 12, 20 bread. It's just interesting how he does it. I think he just goes around all of the all of the um, the spots he can go to and sort of pick pick stuff off. Let's have a look. Where are you going there? Where are you heading? If he comes here and you know, he'll go there and not see anything. I think. Yeah, he'll stop there, think about it, move on. So let's see if we can find where the bread is that he's going to buy. There's bread there. Okay. So, hey, where'd you go? Let's see if he comes here and see if this says no minus 20 bread. Or, or this goes away, maybe. Yeah, there you go. So he bought 20 bread. And I don't think we're selling anything else. Did we buy fish? No, we got loads of fish. We could buy berries, just to make sure we've got stock of them at the minute. The, the amount of cash we're bringing in is kind of crazy. Um, trade, resources, berries, where are you? Berries, yeah, buy, buy up until we've got 50 berries. Uh, 100, Let's just, we'll buy some berries for now. We, we're always short on berries, we've got plenty of bread, plenty of fish, plenty of loads of cheese. Jeez, can't, can't make the cheese quick enough. I mean, you can't sell the cheese quick enough even. Um, so that's not a mega problem. This is turning to right a little hub here, look. Two villages, that's good. Talking of which, have we got somewhere we can put them? Uh, two miners, this has got everything it needs. Now there's five more tools. I mean, we could, we could get another tool dude up and running. That's blacksmiths, right? We would need iron smelter and blacksmith. Do we, are we always having stocks? We never have the stock of the iron, that's the problem. So I do wonder if maybe it would be silly not to build this out as iron, right? And we just have another set of that over here. Yeah, and that's probably what we'll do eventually, just to make more tools that way. Because when we're not building something, we we, we generate them relatively well. But, you know, we're always building something, aren't we? Because that's just the game. you got to keep building forward. Somebody put in the comments that where we're at now is pretty much endgame for them. I think there's a lot more to see. This is one of those games that... It, it, you know, I could sit and let this run and nothing will happen and that's fine. Um, people will eventually not turn up and that's the that's the entropy in this is that, uh, you know, we just won't get new new villagers. People don't die or age or anything like that. Uh, what are you missing? Tools, I guess? Yeah. So it will just sit and run and run. Um, so the only the only way you make the game more difficult for you for is to expand and the whole point of the game is to not over expand, really, because that's that's basically what's what the game is all about is that it's whether or not you uh yeah it's whether or not you over you over expand or not um so yeah the game you know can definitely get much further on than this but only if you really want it to only if you want to push and i do i enjoy it i i, I do 
eventually gets to the point where I either get a bit bored of the game in its current stage. Not, that's nothing against the game. It just, you know, I get bored of games. Uh, or, the yeah, the city just crashes in on itself. So you, sometimes you'll get one thing that really pisses people off and it drops down to 100 and everyone starts leaving and, and, you, and your cash goes down. But as long as you keep having cash coming in, um, you know, we, we, you're normally okay. It's mostly just uh, making sure that you're not spending more than you're making, and I mean that's just good, you know, that's just good knowledge for life, isn't it? Really. Here we go. This is all starting now. I guess this was just last on the list, right? This place is built. We'll put somebody in there to work it. Uh, let's just double check. We've got no spots for uh, for workers. Yeah, everyone's. Yeah, everywhere's filled in there. So that's good. So as stuff gets built, we can add workers in. But I think that's probably about it. It is really weird to think that this was once our central city point and it's completely emptied out now. I don't know why they won't build here. This is just prime real estate here, look. Look at that. Very high density. They just, they're not interested. So I think probably what we'll do is we'll turn densification off for a bit. Uh, no, not sorry. Not the, uh, build a high capacity. No, that one's fine. No upgrade. No, we want that one off. Yeah, we want people to build more houses, not not bigger houses. That's what we're looking for. We want lots of little huts that we can 100% work from. Because I want another house here that I can continue the market off the back of. That's the main thing. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep going until this Lord Manor's built. And then we'll call this one a day. The Lord's Manor is complete. It looks awesome. Just checking everything here. It is now listed as treasury. Or oh, just that one, treasury. Not much else for it to be now. Now we've got the bailiff and the uh, and the great hall. So yeah, everything's treasury. And also, it's raining, it's pouring, but by the gods, somebody has moved in to the spot outside the church that has been vacant for all this time. Lovely, nice house as well. It's going to be going to be so beautiful once that levels up. Oh, can you imagine? I mean, now 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 they've filled up. I actually don't mind turning densification off because that can get bigger and bigger. That's fine by me. Uh, there we go. Sorry the weather's crappy for the end of the video, but we are... Yeah, here's my plan, right? Farm and farm and Wil Wil Wilma. Wilma the windmill and this and Freddy and... and I can't remember another name beginning with F. Freddy and, and Flintoff are going <laughs> to... The farms are going to move over here. We're going to move this uh, wood uh, resource this way as well. So move all of those resources out. Uh, that opens up this area for more residential and it opens up this area and then this area here is going to be another sort of industrial area that's going to bring in iron, quartz, quartz, uh, sorry, marble, sorry, iron, marble, marble, and then here is just regular stone, but I've, I'll throw a couple of guys on it. Like, if nothing else, it's just employment for them, isn't it? And I imagine it probably is better than just going and digging it out of the ground down here. Maybe even this area could come out and, and eventually become residential as we move some of this stuff a little bit further out. I, I don't know. Maybe not. But even still, our Lord's Manor is built. It's looking great. We're 90% happiness, which at the minute, everything is like, you know, 1% and 2% low. Like, I, there's nothing major problems at the minute that we can deal with. Uh, I'm happy. I think, we're, I think we're cooking on gas, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.